at GM, they reason sensibly and practically, what prevents them from releasing two crossovers of different brands on the same platform. As a result, almost simultaneously in the fall of 2006, the Chevrolet Captiva and Opel Anthra appeared on the market. The, the German differs from its co-platform in its external and internal design, only in a five-seater saloon and dimensions. They have the same wheelbase, but technically they are twin brothers. And Thera has almost the same range of engines, 2.4 liter gasoline, 140 horsepower, and a 3.2 liter V6, 227 horsepower, but two turbo diesels, 2.0 liter, 127 and 150 horsepower. With the start of crossover sales in Russia in 2007, buyers did not care about its Korean origin at all. The buyers of Opel and Thera and his brother Chevrolet Captiva didn't fail. And there were quite a few of them, since the car came out sound and devoid of serious childhood diseases, characteristic of all new models. And those weaknesses that were nevertheless found were meticulously eliminated by the manufacturer during the modernization and restyling of 2011. In other words, and Thera delivers a few system troubles. We felt it our duty to introduce you to them. Until 2011, in Russia, the crossover was sold with only two gasoline engines, a 2.4 liter 140 horsepower 4 and a 3.2 liter 227 horsepower V6. Both units are Oplevsky, but they are united by an increased, in comparison with the declared, fuel consumption. At the same time, the dynamics of a car with both engines does not seem heroic at all. All-wheel drive cars with five-speed transmissions were brought to us, mechanics and automatic, which after 2011 became six-speed. By the way, the boxes are the least of all complaints. They age with dignity and serve properly. But on the motors there are small nuances. Fuel consumption has already been said, keep this in mind. When driving in a free Sunday city, 13 to 14 L slash 100 kilometers for a 2.4 engine can be considered the norm. I don't want to talk about Appetite 3.2, but the 4 is reliable and unpretentious. Its only prank can be considered the crankshaft oil seal, which can begin to leak after 60 to 70,000 kilometers. With V6 more hassle, already after 50 to 80,000 kilometers, it can light check and scare with the drop in traction. This means that you need to prepare the equivalent of about 500 euros to replace the extended timing chain with tensioner. The problem is common and typical. However, the steering rack should be recognized as the most serious design flaw. The appearance of knocks and increased steering wheel play usually appear already at a range of 50 to 70,000 kilometers. The rack rod bushings become unusable, which accelerates the wear of the steering shaft bearing. Replacing the rail with the original one will require up to 60,000 rubles, but cheaper repairs are also possible. Although both actions will not be able to protect against similar troubles for a long time. For gearboxes, as already mentioned, the problems are minimal. More questions about the rear axle plug-in drive system. Delays are possible when the clutch is activated. In addition, the propeller shaft outboard bearing can easily be torn off the road. But even the most careful have complaints about leaking especially in cold weather, rear axle gearbox oil seals and vibrations caused by wear of the driveshaft cross with a run of 60 to 80,000 kilometers. Almost all Anthra owners are familiar with this cross, as it is located too close to the exhaust system. Hence the increased fluidity of the lubricant from nearby bearings and the destruction of the anther support. Injection and additional lubrication of loaded elements can slow down the process to some extent. Suspension reliability can be assessed as average without frankly weak points. The body is galvanized, which, however, does not give a guarantee against corrosion of the fifth door. Crickets in the cabin are a rarity. The only thing that can be noted is the poor frost resistance of the leather trim. It happens to break. There are no special claims on the part of electricians. So, in principle, a crossover can be considered a good option to buy. Steering. Steering rack repair can cost five, if you're lucky, and 15,000 rubles. But its replacement with a new original analog will pull 50 to 60,000. In addition, you should not particularly trust contract rails. Their resource is not very large. Another misfortune, due to a weak clamp in cold weather, the high pressure hose of the power steering pump often breaks. Transmission. A failed card and shaft cross or outboard bearing is not yet a reason to replace the entire card and assembly. For example, a bearing can be replaced in a regular service for only 10,000 rubles. In winter, 
the rear axle gearbox oil seals often begin to leak due to a clogged breather. Suspension. The front shock absorbers leak after 80 to 100,000 kilometers. For new, not original, will take up to 6,000 rubles. Racks and bushings of the front stabilizer are handed over even earlier. After about 50 to 60,000 kilometers, silent blocks of levers serve 80 to 100,000 kilometers each. Officials used to change the lever assembly for 12,000 rubles, but now repressing silent blocks is cheaper, up to 3,000 rubles. Electrician. The most common electro glitch is considered to be souring contacts and failure of the rear ABS sensors. They are corroded by road reagents. The appearance of a malfunction will be indicated by an icon on the instrument panel corresponding to the system. There are complaints about a failed heater fan motor. A new motor costs about 15,000 rubles. But he can also sing. Engine. We have already mentioned the crankshaft oil seal and timing chain. In addition, gasoline engines are sometimes characterized by starting not the first time. Possibly bad fuel. Sometimes in winter, after a long movement at high speed, the engine stalls under the release of gas. More often this phenomenon occurs on enters with a 2.4-liter engine. 